The cooperation between Interpol and the United Nations is the fruit of a long-term bilateral commitment in ensuring international peace and security. The two organizations collaborate on many projects and initiatives to fight international crime and have identified the fight against terrorism as one of the major priorities of their work agendas. A recent example of this partnership is something called the Capacity Building and Training Program and it's aimed at strengthening the impact of the United Nations Security Council resolutions to combat terrorism in the ASEAN region. Uh, this is funded by the Government of Canada and it's implemented by Interpol at its Global Complex for Innovation in Singapore. The initiative received very strong support of the United Nations Security Council subsidiary organs branch and members of the, uh, the relevant sanctions committees. The program provided the occasion for 44 law enforcement officials from the ASEAN region to benefit from enhanced theoretical and practical knowledge about the United Nations Security Council resolutions. Listed individuals and entities, the listing process, the operating procedures to implement the travel ban for individuals sanctioned by the United Nations Security Council because of their association with Al-Qaeda and related entities, and the Inter Interpol United Nations Security Council special notices, the Interpol border management best practices, and so forth. This training platform was also used to strengthen interagency and regional communication and cooperation. An important amount of additional biometric information for existing Interpol United Nations Security Council special notices was also processed through these trainings, including 12 new pictures and 22 new fingerprint entities. Furthermore, two positive hits were generated on the Interpol United Nations Security Council special notice and follow-up action was taken during Operation Sunbird 2. The operation combined multiple Interpol counterterrorism projects, including the one targeting United Nations sanctions, and sought to maximize the use of Interpol policing capabilities for regional and interagency cooperation. But more specifically, it consisted in the systematic screening of individuals and their passports entering or departing key border areas in the ASEAN region against these Interpol databases. This important operational activity received the active and timely support from the Captain United Nations Services. The cooperation between Interpol and the United Nations has already proven its efficiency and added value for the sake of global peace and security. Its future and continuity require the active participation of member states and the exchange of information between Interpol, the National Central Bureaus, the Special Representative of Interpol to the United Nations, and the relevant UN Sanctions Committees.